Hi everybody, my name is Aspig, I'm a French streamer and I've been organizing for the last year in the French community a weekly speedrun tournament in the abyss of Genshin Impact. You're gonna understand quickly, it's a very simple tournament open to everyone and every weekend we have a new match. If you want to participate, by the way, don't hesitate to reach us, all the information are in the description. So what is our tournament? It's easy, every weekend we have a match, a 1 versus 1 player, with two Genshin Impact players that are going to try to speedrun the Abyss Floor 12 as fast as possible. They're gonna fight on the best of 3 matches, and every match is simply a speedrun of the Abyss 12, where the fastest win. Little twist to it is that we have a pick and ban phase, where player can ban 3 characters each, that will be banned for both players, and every time they will pick a character, the other player won't be able to pick it again. So this way, there is a little bit of strategy into the match and it gets more complicated. Why this tournament is a weekly championship? Simply because the winner stay. It means that every time we have a winner in this match, he will become the champion and come back the next week where he will be challenged by a new opponent. If this new opponent win, it will take his place and become the new champion. Every week you pass as a champion, it you will receive an additional permanent ban on your box that will nerf you with time. So at some point, eventually, you will lose. So I think I I've explained everything to you and now we can go into the first match Lim versus Dado and we're gonna start with the first pick and ban phase. One last thing before we start I think you've realized English is not my first language or my primary language and I realized that commenting such an event in another language than French was not as easy as I thought. So I apologize in advance for all the mistakes I'm gonna do in English and I hope you're still gonna enjoy the event. And okay guys, let's go for this draft number one. Lime versus Dado. Lime on the left, Dado on the right. And let's check the five star first. We can see there is few constellation on both sides. C6 Dialuc on both sides, by the way, for Burgeon. We never know, it's quite good in those abyss. We also have way more constellation, I guess, on the side of Lime with a C3 Utao. We have C2 Naida on both sides. We have a C4 and C2 Raiden that just got banned. And we have C6 C6 Yai and C6 Xiao on Lime side, so quite a lot of constellation here. The ban were very fast on Lime side. We have Raiden Shogun, we have the Wanderer, and we have Klee that she doesn't own, so an easy ban here, I guess, to stop like a Burgeon Klee maybe to emerge. And on the side of Dado, we're gonna remove the C4 Ayaka that I did not see for Lime, and we have also a C6 CIA that is gonna go. I don't think we're gonna see a C6 Xiao ban because I don't think it's really good right now, but it could be, or otherwise, Dado is not first pick, so he will either ban. Uh, Kazuha or Naida to not let Lime pick one of those pick if he judged that one of them is too strong. And it's gonna be a ban of Kazuha. Great choice here. So Lime won't be able to pick a Kazuha, but I guess we're gonna see a pick. Naida, it has to be because it's such a strong character and in C2 it's just a monster and Lime just picked it. It's done. With that, she will be able to go like on a spread maybe team or I don't know, something else. She could go on a Hyper Bloom as well. A lot of possibility here. But I know it's gonna be a way more different draft here. I don't know what's gonna be his first pick. He has way, um, he has many different options here. He could go on four star like a B net, or he could go on something else. There is still like the Yelan that is open that is quite strong. Uh, it's it's. Okay, it's up to him. And it's gonna be a Bennett first pick, C6 Bennett with a Faruzan. Could be quite weird, except if he wants to go Xiao, it's not gonna be a Xiao, it's gonna be a Fischl here. He doesn't have Wanderer anymore, maybe it was his pick to play Wanderer with this Faruzan, he realized it was banned. So he went on the Fischl C6, so, so far we don't have a lot of hint about what he's gonna do, but let's see. On Lime side now, we're gonna see what she wants to do now. And it's gonna be a Yelan, so we're gonna go on a Hyper Bloom team. Duo of Yelan and Xingxiu, very strong. We have a lot of Hydro damage here and a lot of application to create a lot of um, flower or seeds. And after that, we're gonna uh, do some Hyper Bloom, probably with a Cookie. Except if Dado uh, is picking Cookie now and blocking the choice of Cookie. Now, and Lime will be in a, in a weird position, I guess. That I was thinking, maybe he's thinking about that. Maybe he's looking at the 4 star right now. It could go with a cookie. It would give him like 2 heal. But it would totally block the strategy of Lime. And it's going to be a sucrose right now to group a little bit. Have uh, these uh, 4 animal pieces effect. And also like boost DM. And after that, we're going to complete it with a Beidou. Very old school team here. With Fischl and Beidou together. Bennett as well. We're going to have a lot of electro damage here. And not a lot of reaction. Maybe a little bit of overload with Cross and Bennett. It could be possible, but a lot of raw damage with uh, Fischl and Beidou. On the side of Lime, we're gonna pick the Cookie Shinobu, obviously, to do the Hyper Bloom team, so it's done. It's a very strong team. It doesn't have a lot of, of 
AoE damage here, but with the Hyper Bloom doing that much damage, it should be fine. It's auto targeted as well, so it should be really strong. Um, maybe a bit slower on part one of the Abyss, but part two and part three should be really good, even if the chicken has some dendro resistance. On Dados now, it's gonna be complicated for part two. What he's gonna take? There is not a lot of Hydro left. Uh, to do Burgeon team, but it's gonna go like on a on a Xiongming one. Burgeon team are a really great uh, type of team in those abbeys. And on the side of Lime, we're gonna take some Pyro as well for the road. Toma and Butao. So we already have two Pyro here. I don't think we're gonna see a Vape Butao. It doesn't seem possible. Maybe a Reverse Melt one. It could be. Or maybe a Burgeon one as well. Uh, let's see. Dado's gonna pick a Barbara here. So it seems to be like Vape or at least like a Burgeon one. And yes, it's gonna be Burgeon. We have Barbara and the main character. Team that is quite complicated to play because when you use the ultimate of the main character, you need to apply Hydro or another element, not Pyro, to the ultimate. Otherwise, it's gonna explode so that you need to have a good rotation here but this seems to be a virgin team quite weird here that he decided to pick barbara instead of kokomi when kokori kokomi is already uh, is not picked and available to him on the side of line we're gonna go like shongli shongli thomas double shield a lot of protection to not get killed on those uh room that can be quite harsh and a uh, rosalia so we're gonna have like a reverse med team on lime side no hydro for the shield of baptist that could be quite hard on the side of dado we have all elements to break the shield dendro hydro and pyro and i think we're gonna complete that with a uh, yanfe why not yanfe can be, uh, could be a good pick here let's see if he wants to play her dps or simply like as a tank fed to have more like defensive utilities we'll see that in a in a moment but it's quite a good team uh, a bit complicated on Dado's side, as I said, the rotation can be quite hard, and I guess the uh, DPS outcome is less than what we have on Lime's side, where Wutao C3 with a Rosalia can do a lot or a ton of damage very easily, so I think we have less uh, damage output, but we have more elements to destroy shields in those uh, Abyss. I would give like an advantage to Lime on part 2. On part 1, uh, definitely an advantage to Lime as well, like the Hyper Bloom team with Naida C2 and Yelan C2 seems very destructive and very strong here, and on Dado's side, I'm not sure about this combo, Fisher and Beidou, it's been a long time I haven't seen uh, this combo, and let's see how it goes. Um, yeah, advantage for Lime for me, but that could surprise us, obviously, let's go into match 1, guys. Okay, and here we are, guys. Lime on the top left, Dado on the top right, and the match has begun. So, two different strategy here. I guess Lime is going to the back of the room near the stair to pack those flowers. She's gonna pack the first pack, and the second one will come very easily. And Dado just went back a little bit. Wait for the flowers to come, destroy them, and probably gonna pack the second wave of flowers with Sucral. Really well done on that side here. I was not expecting as much damage as what I see right now with this combo. Like Beidou and Fischl are doing amazingly well on those small monsters. And it's gonna be a bit harder for Dado here because he's ne he needs basically to pack those automate together to do damage with Beidou's ultimate and other skills. When Lime has more mono target DPS, she can play a little bit more freely because the Hyper Bloom will auto target um, the automaton and do damage and it's gonna be a bit harder for Dados but you see he's going on the side of those automate every time to pack them together doing a little bit of uh, E or skill of sucrose to dispel them to debuff them and after he can just do damage and so far he's had 12 uh, 10 or 10 of 12 monster against 12 on 12 as well okay it's done Dado is the first one to go to part 2 and Lime is not far behind okay part 2 now Dado's gonna go back wait for the two mages to come to him grouped it's a good strategy here and now he's gonna be able to start his rotation so we have the ultimate of the main character well done we have barbara after with a skill to apply hydro to this mushroom and not make it explode and we're gonna use now the pyronado of shangling to do some burgeon here and also some damage i can't see like the damage of the burgeon yet it seems like it's not doing a lot okay 29,000. it's not too bad but it seems it lacks a little bit of uh, application to do a lot of damage here on the side of lime the two mages were done quite quickly and now we're gonna have to dps those herald on both sides to be able to pop their shield and start to finish the room on the side of that oh we can see like the dps is already quite lacking here we're not doing a lot a lot of damage and it goes quite slow on the side of lime it's going way much faster with this wutao she's doing like amazing charge attack and i think we're gonna open the shield of the first herald quite soon on that side it's kind of like 60 percent health close to 50 but a bit slower here and lime has started we have the two cryo arrow that just transformed and wutao 
took a lot of damage here and now it's dead i don't see that but i think like she forgot to put uh shongli shield back and now lime is uh, back to room one she has to do everything again and it will slow her down a lot while dado is uh doing amazingly well here i mean amazingly he's quite slow on dps but he seems to be uh, quite well protected with this barbara and this tank fair i don't think he should die wait <laughs> he's been frozen just right now so maybe he's gonna die uh, i don't know it seems to be fine he has a lot of like uh, pyro application with the Yanfei, he has a lot of pyro application with the Xiangling as well. Once the Cryo Shield are here, he should be able to kill them uh, quite quickly. And now Yanfei is frozen and losing a lot of damage. She's in the middle of the fight. She just used uh, her ultimate, so she has a shield now that is quite good. And we can see the prototype as well in her hand, so she's healing uh, the whole team now. It seems to be fine. Oh my god, the, the main character that just took like a, a combo by the three arrows. Luckily for him, he has Barbara C6, obviously, so uh, the main character just revived. But no, you need to be careful, Dado. You don't want uh, this Yenfei to die right here and right now because you have a 15-minute cooldown on this resurrection of Barbara. And now that it has been used, you can't use it probably for the uh, until like the next run, so until uh, part 2 of this uh, tournament, of this match. Okay, the Virgin doing quite well here. Dado is gonna finish this room. He died once. Luckily for him, Barbara was here and he's gonna go to room 2 while Lime is going to part 2 of the chamber 1. Okay, here we are. Lime uh, launching uh, the part 2. Uh, she's going directly on the mage. Uh, like, no issue here. It should be fine. And now Lime gonna be more precocious, I guess. She doesn't want to die a second time because of a shield of Shongli or like a freeze on the monster. And on the Dado side, on that side, sorry, we're gonna start on the chicken. We have a lot of electro damage here, so we're gonna have the right um, to stun. We're gonna have the right to stun the chicken. The electro damage applied to this monster will make him like go to the floor quite quickly. You can see it here. It's gonna do a charge, two charge. Uh, Dado went uh, through the wall, next to the wall to allow the stun on the chicken quite quickly, and now it's gonna do a lot of damage here with the sucrose and the damage of the fisher and beidou we can see 19k 16k i think it's beidou's ultimate here and she's doing quite a lot of damage it's nice to see on lime side we're back again she's against the herald here we're gonna have an ultimate of rosalia and the reverse melt is gonna start so wutao is not doing the melt here it's rosalia that is doing it because uh, wutao is playing way much too uh way too much pyro to do it and we can see it's going quite well we have two Arrow that are transformed and now we're frozen be careful we need to switch and it's gonna be a death again for lime it's terrible i don't think she dies a lot in training with those teams unfortunately on live right now she died uh, twice and she's gonna have to start again she can't carry on without rosalia because she won't have enough application to destroy the shield of baptist so she she has to retry again unfortunately she can't go uh, through without the rosalia on that other side i did not see the end of the chicken sorry but uh, i think it was an easy boss for him so it's okay and now we have this team with the burgeon again the manifest it can be quite tricky here because if the manifest manifestation sorry decide to move away from the mushroom of the main character it could be quite hard to get damage in to get dendro application to get uh, seeds and to get burgeon so it could be quite hard here the bloom that goes quite well so it's fine and i think it's a good good run on the manifestation with this team because the manifestation did not move that much even if it has marked barbara you can see it with the little uh, purple ring on it and is doing quite a lot of damage and it's gonna be two minutes for this room two that is quite good i think with those team so gg is gonna be able to go room three while lim is starting again and is part one uh, of the chamber one it's gonna be really hard for lime uh, for lime to go back on dado for this one okay dado is now on the four sacred beast quite a hard room here even he's his far ahead of lime so he has a lot of time i guess he doesn't know that so he's gonna try to be as fast as possible anyway he has a lot of defensive tool here to not die he has bedu ultimate that gives you reduction to damage obviously and he also has bennett ultimate that heal you even though Bennett can be a double hedge sword here because it infuses yourself on Pyro and you can take like reaction damage from the monster like the Sucrose here that just took Vaporize and nearly died. Luckily he did a nice dodge here and Sucrose
Necros is still alive and I think he's gonna be able to complete the match and do a lot of damage here. We have Bade Ultimate that is out and we can see a 40k on the Tiger that is quite good damage here for a Beidou. The egg of the Dendro Tiger is destroyed and the Tiger is going down. He's done. He's gonna be able to do a lot of damage here and just has to take down the water one, the hydro one and he will be able to go to the second wave of this chamber in less than one minute. I'm quite impressed by the DPS of this team once again. He's doing an amazing job here and an amazing timer. On Lime side, we're back to those heroes, those heroes that are quite hard to kill. Uh, it's gonna be a bit different this time, I guess. She's gonna focus one more than the other. I think it's a cryo one and she needs to be able to go through this chamber. One cryo hero is already transformed. We can see that Futao is doing a lot of damage. I did not see that, but it's like 45k. Each time she does a charge attack without vape and without a yinan, it's not too bad. But I think we have Thomas C6 that gives you augmented charge attack damage and also like Shongli that is shredding resistance with his shield, so it's not too bad. On the side of that though, we just finished the four beasts and we're gonna be able to go on Baptist, the last boss of those abyss. On light time, it went well because one of the Cryo Herald is dead and I think once you have only two left, it's very hard to die here. So I think Lime is gonna be able to pass this room and maybe go back on Dado if he miss uh, if he misses his opportunity on Baptist. So for Baptist, I think Dado has every element you need. He's able to break shield quite easily. He have Pyro for the Cryo one, uh, Hydro with Baba for the Pyro one, and obviously he has also Dendro for the Hydro shield. But what's gonna be the issue here is I think the damage he can output during the stun of Baptist. It's quite hard with this team where you need a lot of ultimate together to do damage, but you also need them to destroy the shield to output a lot of damage and you can see here we did one rotation of shield on baptist and it's only one fifth of the hp bar so it can be quite long it's gonna be quite long i think for Dado to be able to kill Baptist and maybe Lime could go back on him. I don't know. I think it's going to take five rotations. So we can see here he's using obviously the main character and his ultimate to break the Hydro Shield and he's going to use Baba to break the Pyro one. The application is not too bad, but after that, he's going to need the whole ultimate to do damage here. And you can see it doesn't have the main character ultimate already ready. So you lose a little bit of time during the stun period and now he has everything, but it seemed that he missed the mushroom so this is what i was talking about the match um before sorry the beginning of the match is that if you put the mushroom on the floor and you use pyro on it it just explodes and so you don't have dendro application for the duration of the ultimate because it's not there anymore and you can't do burgeon so that does need to be very careful about that this is what happened here and this is why he did not do a lot of damage during this during this rotation on the side of lime i did not see because it's quite pixelated here but i think she destroyed the chicken quite quickly and now she can go on the manifestation obviously the chicken lasted for less than 40 seconds and you can see the wood doing charge attack here 47k 44k it's quite a lot of damage i have to say and she might be able to go into chamber 3 before dado's finished this boss but i don't think she'll be able to go back totally on dado and win this round dado i think you have two rotation max uh, to take on baptist and baptist should die quite easily so we have like another one here you need to use obviously the main character dendro main character to apply a little bit of dendro here grind the shield after that he's gonna use barbara and we're gonna see a rotation of virgin again and i don't think it's gonna be quite enough to kill baptist here so he might have to go for another one it was a really good team i guess for the first part of the abyss uh, the first chamber sorry it was also really good on the manifestation but here on baptist this rotation is hard to do. You need a lot of ultimate, a lot of resources, and it's hard to get them back before the next run. And Dado is not doing enough damage, and it's going to go for another rotation once again. But this one uh, should be the last one and should not even uh, be complete, I think. He's going to kill Baptiste before that. On the side of Lime, the manifestation is dead now, and she's going to be able to go on the beast. But I think it's going to be too late for her. Unfortunately, I think that without one of those deaths, Maybe Lime would have beaten Dado on this first match, but hey, it seems quite hard to come back. You can see there is few HP left 
on Baptist and Dado should be able to kill Baptist right here and right now and no it's not there yet we got trolled by Baptist obviously here with one HP but the Barbara should do the work on the shield and Dado is gonna win this first match GG to him one more to go if he wants to win uh, the BO3 and we're gonna directly go into the phase 2 of a pick and ban to start match 2 between Lyman and Dado GG to Dado for this first one Okay, and here we are in part 2 pick and ban phase. Lime is on the right side now. She decided to be second player, so she won't have the first pick for team 1, but she will have it for team 2. It's gonna change a little bit the ban, I think, because Dado is gonna be able to pick this Kazua if he wants to, and if it's not banned by Lime. Lime on the side right here is decided to has decided to ban Klee, Naida, and Wanderer, so a little bit different this time. We have Raiden Shogun that is still open, and on the side of Dado, we have Yaes 6 Naida C2 that this time is banned and Ayaka why Naida is banned because Kazuha doesn't need to be banned Dado will be able to pick him so okay Dado just confirmed the ban now and I think the first pick of Dado is gonna be a Kazuha the first pick of Lime is gonna be a Raiden Shogun it has to be and I think Kazuha C2 here is really strong you're gonna have mastery bonus but also you're gonna have the capability to group all the monster in part one of the chamber one and this is very strong on the side of Lime we have a Raiden Shogun C4 that is big very strong character it's gonna be amazing in part two and part three but I think in part one it's gonna be quite Mm, quite weird if you don't have an animo to pack all those monsters because they're gonna go all over the room it's gonna be an aggravate uh, maybe Beishu and uh, Raiden Shogun aggravate or maybe Hyper Bloom if you add some Hydro here anyway it's a very good combination I think with Raiden Shogun and she's gonna have a lot of damage here on that other side you have Kazuha first pick you have literally like an infinity of possible uh, team and I wonder what it's gonna uh, what it's gonna do here let's see in a second it's gonna be decisive he has 10 seconds to pick he needs to be fast otherwise i remind you it's gonna be a random pick that is gonna be done on his team and it's gonna be bennett and xiangling we are very close to have an international team he could complete it obviously with whatever he wants it could be a nayato it could be a tartaria it could be a yelan whatever will work it's already a quite strong team on the side of line we're gonna put a yelan here so we're gonna have a hyper bloom Raiden Shogun or a Quick Bloom because she's gonna be able to do some aggravate here as well and probably a healer on the last position oh no sorry uh, there is Beishu here we're gonna put a Xingxiu so we're gonna have a lot of hydro damage here and also a lot of possible Bloom or Electrocution on the side of Dado it's gonna be a classic international I like that with the child here child Bennett Xiong very strong team if it's well played be careful you don't have a resistance to interruption but if everything goes well it's gonna be perfect for the second team, Lime is going to pick a Shongli here. And Dado is going to pick a Beidou that we already uh, we have already seen quite a lot. Okay, Beidou alone. What is going to do now? We know that Dado is able to break a shield of the Cryo Herald with Baidu, So he might, he might go without Pyro. And he's going with Halitam. So, so far, we have a spread and aggravate team. And he's going to be able to complete that with anything really it's gonna work he has already a lot of damage he needs maybe a little bit more element to break the shield of baptist and the herald but it should be fine on lime side she's thinking what she could do as a team and there is 10 seconds left and the pick is going to be it's going to be uh, Wu Tao again, C3 Wu Tao. That was really strong. Maybe not the good element with it, but that was nice. And we're going to put a Rosalia again. So we have some reverse melt like the team before. And there is one last pick for Lime that is going to be different. On the side of Dado, maybe a Kukomi. Good pick here. We already have resistance to interruption with Beidou. We have a reduction to, of damage as well. And Kukomi could just bring some ill to the team. Ooh, I like the Kande C6 as well. She's kind of an alternative to Wu Tao and Yilan because in C6, every time you do like a normal attack, you will have a little wave of Hydro coming down. And we finish that with a healer and it's gonna be Yao Yao. It's quite weird, but why not? I would have expected um simply like a cookie to do some hyper bloom here but that of decided to go with a yao yao that is quite strange he still has the spread combo he's gonna have a little bit of hyper bloom when beidou do a counter or launch her ultimate but it's gonna be all so it's a bit weird here we're gonna have a spread alley time i guess it's quite enough damage to kill everything anyway and on the lime side we completed this team with ayato and i like that i think it's a great team where we have different elements we can freeze the opponent and do some melt do some reverse melt it's gonna be great 
So I think for part one, the two teams are kind of equivalent. We have more burst damage on Lime's side, but I think she's going to be slower than Dado on the part one because she doesn't have an animal to pack all those monsters and Dado should just be very, very fast. He has a lot of damage as well. So little advantage for Dado for me. And on the second part, both teams are kind of equivalent. I don't really like Wutao with Ayatou and Rosalia. It's not the best team for Wutao, but it works. And on Dado's side, we have a spread ally time. It's kind of sad he doesn't have a cookie here, otherwise his team would have been wonderful. I think it's quite equivalent and I'm wondering who's gonna win. So we're gonna check the match two right now. Here we are guys, match 2 Dado versus Slime, Dado is starting a little bit ahead, don't worry it's fine, judges are recording time for both of them so there is no issue with that. We're gonna see a double swirl here, followed probably by an ultimate of Child, yeah, 167k with a vape, it's quite good and from now it's gonna be very easy, you just need to pack the flower with Kazuha and do a lot of damage, AoE damage with the Riptide and the Pyronado that is going to do vape on the monster online side it's gonna be so much harder why because she doesn't have an animo to pack those flowers so th she went to the back of the room to group them and the other issue is that Raiden Shogun is knocking them back with her ultimate quite often and it's gonna be super hard to keep them together to do AoE damage. So we can see here that Lime is so much slower than Dado but it doesn't matter. She's going on the automate and now she's gonna be able to group them and I think it doesn't matter because Lime should be a bit faster on the other room and chamber 2 and chamber 3 because monsters are way more massive, more pull of HP and her team should work better. On the side of Dado we started part 2 of the chamber 1 with the two mages with a hyper bloom without cookies so not so much a hyper bloom but more a spread alitam team with some bloom it's gonna be quite interesting here because I think he panicked picked Yao Yao so his team is less strong than what he was expecting and more than that he doesn't have pyro damage for the cryo herald here so it's gonna be interesting I think the only monster that is going to be able to break shield of those cryo herald are going to be uh, is going to be Beidou. So Beidou with her ultimate. It's going to be interesting to see if she has enough electoral application to destroy the shield. On the side of Lime, we went through part 1 easily. Oh my god, so much freeze on side of Dado, but Beidou survived. It's fine. And Lime is starting with a team that is very much similar to the old one, except that we don't have Toma, but we have Ayato instead. So a little bit of right over here. We're gonna be able maybe to freeze some monsters sometime and to do more like melt on Wutao maybe, and also to have hydro application for the room 3, chamber 3 with Baptiste. She knows that she doesn't um, have a lot of protection except Shongli. She died the first match twice. I don't think it's gonna happen again. She needs to be very careful because she did a nice run now and here is her chance to go back on Dado. If she wins uh, this match, she will be able to have a BO3. Everything is going ba uh, good on both sides. I don't see Dado right now on the Cryo Herald, but it seems like Bedou is doing an amazing job I at breaking the shield. Why I think? Because the ultimate of Bedou is doing a lot of AoE damage with a lot of Electro Hit because the ultimate is Bouncing back from target to another one and with the counter and also I guess the C6 of Beidou that infused air normal attack a little bit in Electro. He should be able to break the shield quite easily and I think he's doing it. It's gonna be a 3 star for Dado for this chamber one in a few seconds I guess. He's gonna be able to use the ultimate of Beidou one last time because I don't think he's gonna need it for the manifestation and it's gonna be yeah. A 3 star maybe? No, a 2 star, 6 minutes 59, but really well done on the side of Dado. For Lime now, we have a few shields to break, but it should be fine. I think we're gonna do approximately the same timing here, or the same time as Dado. She needs to do a lot of damage to those cryo shield, and it's quite hard with Hutao because when you do charge attack, sometimes you touch only, you hit only one of them, and you're not destroying both shield at the same time. The Hydro World is done on Lime's side, and I think we're gonna do something like 645. She's gonna be a little bit behind Dado, but she went back on him quite easily for this second half and nothing is done yet. Dado on this chicken I don't think is gonna die here is doing quite a lot of damage international is doing a great job and I think the chicken and the manifestation are kind of gifted in those habits they just need to go as fast as they can here and Dado is going to do maybe 45 seconds on this chicken I guess yeah it's gonna be a 44 
Let's see if Lime can do the same. The chicken has started on her side. I think the team of Lime is more interesting or maybe more impactful on those bosses because you have Yelan, you have also Radiant Shogun and you have Electro Application. So you're going to be able to stun this chicken to do more damage and Radiant C4 here is doing a lot of damage with the Aggravate and the Hyper Bloom. 9 minutes 35 and it's already half HP and I guess we're going to see a stun here. Yeah, she's going to do... Uh, she's gonna go on the floor and Lime should be able to destroy the chicken now with an ultimate of Raiden Shogun. It's gonna be a little bit faster than that though, I think, but not too much. So she still needs to be a bit more aggressive here if she wants to keep up with him. Dado on this side, it doesn't have the Hyper Bloom that is doing Dendro damage. It's quite a shame, but it's gonna be okay. Alley time here on the Thunder Manifestation is doing Aggravate at every hit or every hit. Uh, that he can with the ICD obviously it's doing a lot of damage I think Alitem can probably solo the Thunder Manifestation if he's not dying because the damage are here and it's gonna be 820 maybe 816 to be able to kill this Manifestation yeah 815 let's see if Lime can do the same with this Hayato Wutao composition it's it's a bit it's it's a bit harder I guess on Lime side because she can't have Ayato and Wutao on the field at the same time and you have less reaction less element applied but it should be fine because this Wutao is doing also a lot of damage you can see the charge attack at 42,000 a bit less than previously because we don't have Toma uh, C6 to do the damage and the Ayato is still doing enormous damage here you can see 14 15k obviously with uh, this skill I guess it's because it's a good Ayato with the signature weapon and a lot of statistics uh, Lime is a bit slower than Dado here I think it did 8 or 20 and I think here it's gonna be a 8 minutes maybe so 20 seconds less than Dado she's gonna have to go faster on the two sacred beasts if she wants to win this match on the side of Dado the international that is doing quite a lot of damage it's fine for him 45 seconds for the first one the only thing here is to not die it can be quite hard because you don't have resistance to interruption so Tartaria could die quite easily be the same for Xiangling for example and you need to dodge like those patterns it can be quite uh, difficult here Dado is playing well with those beasts waiting for his ultimate to come back I think he snapshotted the ultimate of Xiangling at the last moment and Kazuha is at 73 HP we were talking about it it's happening it's quite hard to survive but Kazuha is not dead and uh, because of the ultimate into Bennett ultimate Kazuha is not out of Misery. Uh, it's gonna be okay. Here's some Riptide doing a little bit of damage. Maybe one more rotation. It's gonna be 1 minute 30, 1 minute 45 maybe to do those Sacred Beasts. But everything should be fine. And on the Lime side, we have Statiza as well. 9 minute 20. And we haven't killed uh, the first one yet. A Radiant Shogun Ultimate here. I can't see the damage, but they seem quite good. We killed the Water one. Or no, it just turned on the floor. And we're gonna kill the Dendro one. And go on the Water one now. And she needs to be a little bit faster. Maybe it's a uh, opening here maybe she can uh, get some seconds on dado it could be quite nice dado is going to start here it doesn't have a hyper bloom but he has a good ayato to do a lot of damage and you can see the e that is just a little bit in the air to do a plunge attack and trigger the three mirror synchronized attack it's well done <laughs> hyper bloom with beidou here with a counter it's not too bad and we have condace here that is going to destroying to destroy the shield of baptiste followed by an ultimate of item to have three mirror when he's done and now it's full damage a lot of spread here and the damage of Alitam are quite good I think we're going for two rotation at least on Dado's side but it's gonna be it on the side of Lime 8 minute 24 we still have one beast alive I think the air AOE damage and the pack of the Sacred Beast did not go as well as expected but it should be okay she needs to be a bit faster here if we have only 8 minutes at the timer it's gonna be quite hard to go back on Dado 8 minutes 5 and it's gonna be quite hard for Lime to come back on Dado Dado is going to finish Baptist right now just after this shield yeah we're gonna see uh, an ultimate of Beidou followed by an ultimate of Alitham and I think it's gonna be it Dado has finished the Abyss 6 minutes 55 GG Lime can still do it because she is at 7 minutes 50 but she's gonna need to be as fast as she can maybe one rotation only of Baptiste 
Baptiste is putting Hydro Shield here. We're gonna use Rosalia Easy Cryo application here to break this shield. After that, we're gonna have the Pyro one that should be destroyed by Hayato and a long phase of DPS. 100,000 with a charge attack on Melt with Futaho here. It's not too bad. And we did quite a lot of damage in a small lap of time. And we're gonna destroy this shield. What happened? I think Lime switched out of Hayato here and she doesn't have Hydro application to destroy this shield super fast. I think it's gonna be a bit longer than expected. Expected. We can see an ultimate of Hayato here. Maybe a little bit of E. No, we're gonna go directly on uh, Wu Tao and we're gonna try to do as much damage as we can. I don't think it's gonna be enough to do one rotation to kill Baptiste. We're gonna go on Hayato, do some E. It's not too bad, but we're gonna have one more rotation. And I think with six minutes uh, 55 at the timer, she has been, sl been uh, slower than Dado on the other room. And I think it's done. Lime is going to finish her Abyss as well. GG to both players it has been quite a match but i think dado has won the second uh, match of the bo3 amazing gg to both of them for the performance it was an amazing match to watch obviously gg to dado is the new champion and we will have the chance to see him play again next week against another opponent so here we are it was the first match of abyss for champion i hope you liked it and if you want to see more don't forget to sub to the channel and to like the video. There will be another one next week. Thank you. Have a great day and see you next time.